What's up? This is Atomic Swift, and I'm back with yet another Mac OS video because I'm getting a lot of questions in the comments section. <coughs> sorry about that. Of my videos, if you can manually upgrade Catalina, I'm sorry, to Catalina straight from like uh, Mac OS Sierra, Mojave. So, what I've got here is I've got, I cloned one of my uh, Mac OS uh, virtual machines. This is, I believe, Sierra. Is it high? Yeah, I believe it's, is it Sierra or High Sierra? I can't remember which one it is. Oh, it's Mojave. Okay. Okay. So what I'm going to be attempting to do in this video is I'm going to attempt to upgrade within the virtual machine to Catalina from Mojave. So what you're going to do is so you boot up your virtual machine, which uh, I recommend cloning your machine so then you don't have to go through the setup and all that other stuff to create a machine if this does work. Like I said, I haven't tried it. I don't know if it works. I've tried to upgrade from Sierra to Mojave this way. The VM would not boot. So we're going to try it today and we're going to see, you're going to see with me if this works. So boot into your OS, your Mac OS. So we're here. You're going to go to your app store. And then in the little search bar, you're just going to type Catalina, just like that. And there you go, Mac OS Catalina, view, get. Okay, now it's finding the update. I already started downloading just a little bit of this. I think it was like an 8 point something gig uh, file. And then I canceled out so I could do this live on, uh, you know, on, on camera so you could watch me do it. So we can both... Well, we can all together see if this works. So, let's see, we got a pop up. It says Mac, o Mac OS Catalina. Are you sure you want to download Mac OS Catalina 10.15.1? Click download. See, I've already got 4.64. Yeah, see, it's downloading pretty quick. And you're downloading this for free from the Apple App Store. So, we're going to see if this works. Hopefully, it does. And uh, I've only got three minutes remaining. Like I said, it was a pretty quick download to get to where I'm at now. Hopefully this works, and uh, if it does, that'd be great, because I've looked online. I've not been able to find another Catal um, a Catalina image similar to the posts I've posted with the, um, well, links to uh, Mojave, High Sierra, uh, the Catalina beta. I, I haven't been able to find any images like that. So we're just going to let this download, and then I'll bring the video back up, and, uh, you know, we'll see if it's going to work. Okay, we're back with the video. As you can see, <clears throat> the update is almost done. Well, the downloading of the update is almost done for Mac OS Catalina 10.15.1. So we're just going to let it uh, finish up here. It doesn't take long. And then we're going to finish the upgrade process, see if it... Uh, See if the system will boot with, uh, you know, upgrading from Mojave straight to Catalina from which in, within the virtual machine. Come on. All right, I thought it was done because it says 8.13 of 8.13 gigs. There we go. Installing update. Mac OS Catalina could not be verified. Let's see. Let's see. Could not be verified. Let's see what, what that means. What's it say here? It says. Okay, so I'm, I'm looking online. It says to go to the clock. Date and time preferences. Okay, so. So I gotta. It's saying since I got this issue to unclick this and then. Uh, 
click the lock and then it's saying to reboot the the operating system restart and it says this should uh, fix it hopefully so we're gonna see here Yeah, hopefully, hopefully this works because, like I said, I've looked online on Google and on Bing. I cannot find an actual full Catalina image that's uh, in the same format as uh, the High Sierra or Mojave or the Catalina Beta that I was able to post links to. <clears throat> so this would make it easier to just update to Catalina this way. So we're going to see if this works. If it doesn't, I... I have no idea what else it could be. I'm looking online. I'm not seeing anything here. Okay, so we're going to try this again, and like I said, I found um, okay, I found one other one other um, <clears throat> one other solution somebody put up here. Uh, first, we're going to try to. I have a feeling. Sometimes I try capitalizing that shit, and it's not supposed to be capital. Okay, so we're going to go to the. try Catalina again and if this doesn't work I just found one more solution that we will try so I'm just gonna let it find the the Catalina update 10.15.1 says you want to download yes okay so this is gonna take five minutes said I'll uh, stop the video again We'll, um, I'll restart the video when uh, it's you know the downloads done or almost done all right as you can see the download finished we're just waiting for it to pop up with uh, giving me the option to update I guess hopefully it worked if not I, I found one more solution that gets rid of that Right, installing update. Okay, so if you rewind in my video, you'll see that what I did. I just you go into the clock and turn off automatically ad, um, adjust time and date. So Mac OS Catalina, we're gonna click continue. Agree, agree, install into your password because your username is autofilled. And we're going to install Mac OS Catalina. It says it's going to take 13 minutes. Obviously, I'm not going to sit here bullshitting with you for 13. Oh, now 24 minutes. I'm not going to sit here bullshitting with you for 24 minutes. Just rambling on. So. I'm going to stop the video right here and then we'll restart and we'll see what it does when the installation is complete. So, see you in another few minutes. Alright, so it's prompting me to, to uh, restart my virtual machine. I guess to finish the installation. So I figured I would show this to you so you can see what's going on. So I'm guessing at this point it's actually installing the actual uh, the actual update to to convert 
will upgrade your version of Mac OS to Catalina. So this is going to take a while, I think. So I'm going to re, re uh, I'm going to <clears throat> pause the recording and I'll, you know, I'll let it come back up when this bar is mostly gone. All right, we've got about a minute remaining. All right, we're just waiting here. This is about a minute remaining. Be aware while you're doing this. Your virtual machine reboots several times, so don't be uh, alarmed by that. And see, and hopefully, once this is done, it'll let us boot into Mac OS Catalina, which is the newest version of uh, the Mac operating system. at that look at that okay let's test it here okay help app developers improve yes oh wait no let's continue continue setting up your Mac and you know what look at that Mac OS Catalina 10.15.1 at the new app store yeah look at that and look at that we'll get about Mac and there you go Mac OS Catalina 10.15.1 you can successfully upgrade from Mojave which is 10.14 to Mac OS Catalina 10.15.1 you can see it right there that's awesome and just to make sure here Right in this video, I'm just going to restart the OS and log back in, make sure that it still boots up normally. Said so if you're having problems, if you're getting the uh, trying to upgrade through the App Store like I did and you're getting the error that the, the download could not be verified, go into your clock and uh, with your time and date settings and uncheck the box that says <coughs> set time and date automatically. All right, hopefully it boots right back in. We'll see here. It's cool because now I'm going to have to change the name of this clone to upgraded Catalina because now Catalina works. It's awesome. So if you've created another virtual machine the same way that I have, you can just go over to your main machine, right click, go to manage, and then click clone. I created a brand new clone, uh, uh, which is, uh, it doesn't, doesn't rely on the, uh, the original machine you've created. All right, so into my password here. Look at that. Look at that. Mm. Full of Mac, Mac OS Catalina goodness. Look at that shit. Go to about this Mac. And look at that. Mac OS Catalina. All right. And that's where I'm going to end my video. As you can see, it does work, which is great news. Follow all the steps I just did in here. If you run into any errors like the error I did, follow the step I did to get rid of that error. We'll correct the problem. And then you'll have a nice... Um, working version of Mac OS Catalina and it doesn't recheck that so it's still not setting the time and date automatically. Thanks for watching my videos. Thanks for all subs, comments, questions and as always bye for now.